Hi, and welcome to our first video in a series on chemical weapons. Just like all of our other science tutorials, we release half of these videos publicly on YouTube, while the other half and all the other exclusive videos, over 200, are available on our website at mrfordsclass.net. Membership there is what allows us to make these videos as well as produce future videos, so please be sure to check that out. So we begin by looking at chemical weapons. First of all, what are chemical weapons? Chemical weapons are considered a type of weapon of mass destruction, WMD. Seaburn, C-B-R-N, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. In this case, the C for chemical is the chemical weapon. Chemical weapons are defined as man-made poisons that can cause injury or death by irritation, burning, or asphyxiation. That's where you can't breathe. Okay, You can't get oxygen where it's supposed to go. They can be in the form of gas, liquids, powders that can be absorbed either through your skin or through your lungs. So you're either breathing this stuff in or it's being absorbed through your skin. They can also be used to contaminate ground. So for example, if somebody doesn't want people coming through a pass, let's say there's a, a weak point here, they can salt the earth, they can use chemical weapons to make it where that ground is unsafe to either go through or occupy. Now there's a difference. There's some confusion over what's a toxin and what's a chemical weapon. A toxin is a biological byproduct, meaning they're made by an organism. They're made by an animal, they can be made by a plant, they can be made by bacteria, they can be made by frogs. These are made by a living organism, they're a byproduct. A chemical weapon is not a byproduct of a living organism. These are things created in the labs, these are things created by humans and they can be delivered by lots of different means. They can be delivered by aircrafts, drones, artillery, rockets, missiles. They can be manually released. They can be mechanically released. If you look at Amshamrikyo, um, they use bags that they poked a hole in with umbrellas to release the poisonous gas that they use. We have five general categories of chemical weapons. We have things called blistering agents, nerve agents, choking agents, blood agents, and incapacitating agents. In our next video, we're going to take a look specifically at the blistering agents.